Ashley Moon with Destination Toledo, and we're downtown to celebrate the Solheim Cup this week um, with an event called Hot Glass Cool Art that's going to be at um, Graphite Design and Build and Gathered Glass. So we wanted to showcase um, female artists in the area, both 2D, 3D artists, and um, female glass blowers. So I thought to create this event um, it, we're in the warehouse district and kind of showcase the best of the female artists that we have in the city. So over here we're going to have female glass blowing artists doing demonstrations. It's really great, especially when we work in a community that's so heavily male influenced, to have women in the glass community to sort of look to and have to work on different work. Because we all of course make different work, but having women together to make specifically work about women is a really great opportunity. Um, it's really nice to showcase a lot of those like strengths and talents in the female community. Um, we lean on each other regularly, but to have a celebration of it um, is pretty, pretty darn neat. <laughs> you really have to have a group of people that you can rely on in order to help you with your work. It's very much a team sport. You can't do this by yourself. We'll be doing a collaborative piece together, which is really exciting. So we'll be putting um, all three of our particular styles in one piece. Going into a studio and just kind of finding a lot more female friends to work with and to be inspired by, uh, that really kind of gave me a lot of drive. So then if you go upstairs and gather glass here, you're going to find um, a female artist exhibition with two local artists. With these particular women, I wanted to celebrate the history of women in sports and just the, the way that women in the past have influenced us today. Uh, celebrating their passion for their sport, their passion for their recreation, and the way that they move through the world on their own terms, which is something I'm very passionate about, knowing yourself, living your life the best you can. Really love the way that they interact with Sid's work, I think the interaction of the works take each works deeper, and I think it's really beautiful. We were familiar with each other's work, and we knew a bit about um, the other's personal style, but until we physically put the works within the space, we didn't know how they were going to interact. Um, so, you know, we kind of brainstormed ideas. We looked at style, we looked at color combinations, and figured out, you know, what created a flow. Only women kind of know how we walk through the world and what we have to, to do to walk through the world in our own way, whether it is, you know, um, what we're up against or what, what we yearn for. All of those things are unique to ourselves, but also women share a lot of that together. So it's really cool that we can celebrate together and lift each other up in a, in a special way. So I just hope that the experience helps to kind of broaden uh, minds and hearts and um, you know speak to the ideas of performance because athletics and art um, as Katrina had mentioned are really similar in that you have to be focused you have to know um, where you're going and sometimes you don't know until you play the sport you put your pen to paper um, and you see that trajectory and you create it. So I basically wanted to get people that were from out of town kind of in the know about the Toledo art scene and things to do down here before I kind of release it to locals. Um, that way they're able to come downtown and kind of experience something, you know, kind of if you know, you know.